Welcome to Motoring Home, and these are the top 10 tools for a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Van life. What a lovely dreamy concept that is. But what if it's not just a dream? What if you want to make that into reality? What if, like me, you bought a van and you need to turn that sucker into your off-grid home? Well, I'm doing it and along the way I figured out the top 10 most important tools that I've used on the job. So uh, yeah, let's get started. But before we do, safety first. And I just want to give a heads up about PPE and the importance of using safety goggles, gloves, hearing protection, uh, breathing masks and things during the process because accidents do happen and I've already cut my finger through my gloves using an angle grinder. I have split my knuckles open because I wasn't wearing gloves when I was tightening up some bolts um, and I've got things in my eyes from not wearing my goggles or my protective glasses um, and it set me back for like half a day so safety first it's important all right my number 10 top tool well I say tool it's cheating a little bit because I think to get yourself off to a cracking start and uh, I promise you I'm not sponsored by anyone to do this video I mean I only get I've got 140 some subscribers so no one's sponsoring me um, but Screw fix has been my lifeblood during the build and uh, most of the things I'm going to run through I got from screw fix uh, sometimes B&Q and a few other specialist places, but my top The 10th the top tool to use I Found has been this kit by forged steel from screw fix. It was like uh, 24 99 for a 50 piece set uh, And it kind of ticked a bunch of things off the list that I needed to get all in one go and for less than 30 quid is an absolute bargain it's number 10 on the list but really uh, it accounts for not only number 10 but probably from 20 to 10 on um, the most useful tools that I've used so far because it contains all sorts of stuff Get your pencils a tape measure which I've used for almost every job in the van a metal file or a file here which I use every time I cut a hole in the van that's used to smooth down the edges before I hammer out paint a hacksaw which the blade is missing at the moment because I broke it a hammer for beating things into submission die screwdriver one screwdriver two three there's loads more of them four a pair of pliers needle nose pliers with a, a cutting there's a pair of snips that are in the electric box i've got right now too get your scissors super useful clips some bits for my impact driver the allen keys and it came with its own knife as well but i upgraded the knife because i use it so often but there you go, I mean, pretty handy. If you were doing a basic build, you could get away with a lot with this kit. Um, and you don't need to upgrade certain things if you're starting to do a full off-grid camper. Number nine, wait, yep, yeah, number nine, uh, is my hand saw. I was using a chop saw at the start of the build to cut timber, but honestly, this thing's so quick and easy, gets through wood, I think this is a fine cut Stanley Fat Max fine cut, triple edge teeth, makes sewing easy. Sewing? Sewing. You know what I mean. All right, number eight on the list are these bad boys, the quick grips. Really useful for securing things down to my table or my workbench while I've been trying to cut them. Um, or when I've done the river table, the river resin pour on the table to uh, clamp it down and hold it in place. Uh, they're fantastic. I also have these bad boys. These are forged steel. I got this because they were cheaper. Look how big that gets. So it's really useful for bigger items. These cost me, I think, less than a fiver. These right now are, I think, $3.99 at Screwfix each. There you go. Number seven, nope, seven. Uh, most useful tool when it comes to electrics in the van. This is a wire stripper. Uh, I've used this for every single piece of electric 
uh, equipment in the van to strip the wires, to crimp the ends, and to connect terminals. This thing is unbelievable. It's a Stanley Fat Max wire cutter. It's got a crimper and another stuff on there too. Number six on the list. These guys, adjustable spanners and wrenches. This bad boy, forged steel, came with the tool kit. So I didn't have to get that one extra. But it's good to have two when it comes to plumbing and all that. If you do what I did, which is plumb the entire wet room into your van, then you'll want one of these. An adjustable plumber's wrench. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit. And with the two of those, you can tighten up almost anything. Okay, number five, most useful tool in the van build so far. And I'm cheating again because I'm just lumping these two in together simply because I want to show you so much. Oh look, continuity. Don't worry about that one. Haven't got there yet. Um, these two guys here, we've got the jigsaw and a circular saw. Both relatively inex inexpensive because they, they're corded. If you want to get cordless ones, then they're going to cost you a bit more. But you can get them both for around about 30 quid each. Maybe 40, 50 if you want to go a little bit better with the, the saws. Um, get decent blades. This is a uh, jigsaw is a reciprocating saw. Um, it just goes up and down and you can use it to do uh, corners uh, and angles. Whereas the circular saw is much quicker, but it will just go in straight lines. This, you're really not going to get a, a curve on this bad boy. Um, so yeah, that is number five on the list. And the reason it was number five on the list is because you'll notice with the continuity is I skipped one accidentally and it's so important I can't just leave it out. I missed one. I missed this. I have no idea what number it's supposed to be. Four on the list. And this is your sealant adhesive or mastic gun applicator thingy. I use it for every single one of the um, sealants and adhesives that I've used in the van. I myself a decent one because we didn't want it to break. I've used them before and they've broken so this is a pretty heavy duty one. Uh, I think I got this from B&Q. The only one it didn't fit, if you do buy it, is the Carafax uh, IDL 99 Mastic, which is the non-drying -be bedding sealant. Uh, and I actually actually like chopped that down to fit it in here because it's a slightly bigger. But any, I think they're 300 mil, any of those fit nicely in there. So I'll stop waving this around now. And move on to number three, which I recorded a minute ago. Check it. Number three, most important tool so far has been the angle grinder. This guy is incredible. This is a four and a half inch uh, grinder. At the moment I got a very worn down uh, metal cutting tool in there. Of course you can get stone cutting tools and you can get metal grinding tools. This I have used to cut in the windows, to cut in the toilet access flap, to cut in the vents. Uh, the only thing I haven't used this for cutting into the van is anything circular which I use hole saws for. The angle grinder has been fantastic. I even used it to cut down my uh, sink and hob unit, which is metal, to get it to fit into the van. So yes, angle grinder, you can get these. This one, I believe, is 40 pounds from Screwfix. This is the Bosch angle grinder. Hey, you know what? It's not, it's 32.99. Sick. Number two, best tool I've used so far on the job is my knife. This is the Fat Max. Very easy to change blades. I've used this for so much stuff. I chop into things when I don't have my snips with me. I've used it for all the carpet lining. I've used it for cutting in insulation. I use it for uh, yeah, all the, the foil insulation in the van as well. This is always in my pocket. Always. Number one, the single most important thing is not a single most important thing because I'm cheating again. This whole rig over here all combined into one. But I'm telling you right now, if you're going to buy anything for your van build, get yourself a set of impact driver and drill. Now these are the 18 volt Urbauer version. This is £119.99 or £129.99. Just over 100 quid from Screwfix. I use this more than absolutely anything else on the build. Impact driver, super duper, will only give as much power as needed to drill in and drill out screws. So if you're ever trying to struggle to get screws out and you keep shredding the heads, an impact driver is what you need to remove screws.
in reverse. So that guy in there, then my 18 volt, take the same batteries. So if you have a cordless drill set and you have a cordless circular saw set and a cordless um, jigsaw, if they're all the same brand, all the batteries will fit in. So it's something good to get. Um, it's my drill. And uh, to go with it, I thought I'd show off these. I made sure I got myself a wood screw set. These actually come with the TX heads. Um, and that's what I use on here. They shred um, much less than a Phillips head or a Posi drive do, in my experience. So get yourself a set so you don't have to keep going buy an individual packs. You've got loads there. And then, and that's like 20 quid from Screwfix. And then I was fortunate enough to walk into B&Q at Trade Point and get myself this massively reduced. It's actually 60 quid brand new. This Makita drill bit set and um, screwdriver headset, and it's got some um, what else? You got some hole saws in there. You got a little tape measure. You got your screwdriver. You got a little level and a few other bits and bobs, uh, ratchet heads, and um, yeah, I think I got it for like 30 quid or 20 quid even reduced. But get yourself one of those, you don't have to go as wild as that, but it just means you're going to have most of the stuff you need. If you get the drill bit set, and your tool kit, and your impact drivers, I don't think you can go wrong. Those are my top 10 tools for an amateur van build, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'd just like to give an honourable mention to my table, as it's something I use every day and I totally forgot to put it in the list. So deal with it, number 11, right here.